Extra Minutes. It was early Sunday afternoon on the 7th of December 2003. Less than two weeks to Daniel's 14th birthday, less than three to Christmas. So today we've got two setups here on this side of the road. I've been doing a piece to camera using this amazing piece of equipment, the Jeep, which is a long arm and there's lots of great movement and it's talking about the events leading up to Daniel's disappearance. Uh, this was where he was last seen by a number of witnesses. So on the other side of the road we've re re recreated that and we have a child actor who, as you might be able to see, is in the red t-shirt playing the role of Daniel Morecambe. Uh, we have an army of people here, all required of course. We've got the police blocking off the road. We've got a chopper coming in very soon to get some tracking shots. And the reason we're doing it is to make it you know, as real and as close to the events of December 2003 as possible. Police! Police! Down on your knees! Get down! Get down! Don't move. Kima. Brett Cowan. You are under arrest for the murder of Daniel Morecambe. You have the right to remain silent. Quite a setup. Five days of uh, recreations for this story. Every day a different location. Here we are in the middle of nowhere with a 40-foot jib. Yeah, About to shoot a piece of camera with Tara drone aircraft to shoot the uh, shoot it from the air so yeah pretty spectacular so police had their man cowan had first confessed and then incredibly he'd brought them back here to the area where the murder took place but still they didn't have daniel what came next was as impressive as the undercover police operation. The forensic team now took over, and for the next three months here, on hands and knees, they literally left no stone unturned. And cut. Done. Got two. Yeah, I think you got two That's there. Good, two. Really good. You got two there. Right. Okay, guys, we're set, ready to rock. Let us know, and we'll start following. Okay, we're, we're set. Look, we are rolling now. Is that okay with you? Roger that. Go for it. You know, we have gone to some great lengths and, and trouble to getting the detail right, um, to making sure, you know, what we're presenting is obviously not exactly what happened on that day, but as close to it as possible. 